Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique, where I take a look at a different Kickstarter every single day and give my honest thoughts on how it's being ran every day two, at 2 p.m. weekdays. We do a live stream. And today I'm very excited to be checking out the number five most popular thing on not just tabletop games, but on games. Oh no, this is Sword by Magic. Never mind. Popularity. Uh, I do know it's still highly ranked, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Where is it? Oh my gosh, this is terrible. This is terrible. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. So we're not terrible as in I can't, it's terrible as in I can't find it. So it's around the 23 spot, which tells me that it's not the most popular right now, but it's also not the least popular, which means we need to figure out how we can drive more engagement back to the Kickstarter page to get this bumped even higher. Now, that being said, you're in the dog days. You watched this a couple days ago. You saw the huge bump, and now it's like this. But I'm excited to be checking out the Origins, an exquisite and functional board game table, a stylish, durable, and affordable board game table that converts into a what? Uh, so the first thing I would do is I would figure out exactly what you want to say there. Because while it is exciting to me that I can check out whatever that is into a what, I don't know what the thing is. Uh, and, and so I, I feel like that's a little bit of a wasted space there. So, cool. Awesome. Looks good. So when I look at one of these, I always look at three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? And how much is it? Those are the three big factors here. $397,000. It is going to get done. 244 backers. 28 days to go. I know I'm expecting a premium price point here. Free USA shipping. Lifetime warranty. 35% off MSRP. That is spectacular. That's great. Put it right there. I haven't even clicked on the video, and already I am excited. I want to like this product. I want to be happy with what I see because you have used your window space. And so many Kickstarters I see do not use this space in a great way, and you've done it here by putting that right there. I love it. Maybe even make it bigger so I can see it right from the outside. Uh, but let's, let's check it out. Okay. Oh. Oh, 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 no, 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 that was almost too fast. That was almost too fast. I want to see how that, what, what just happened here. Let's rewind that. That's exciting. These come off awesome and are functional. I love that. That is, that is brilliant. Whoa. <laughs> It's a dice tray! It's a dice tower! Oh, oh, okay. Once again, you're almost going too fast here. So we got spillage. Okay. I see what you're saying there. You say you can easily get it up. I would have liked to have just seen that last, last second shot right here. Ah! That last looks like, oh, it looks dry now. Because before you showed me, oh, it looks wet. It looks wet. Just maybe, oh, maybe it's right there. Maybe just get rid of that extra hand and say, oh, it's dry now. I don't know. But still, it's too fast. Okay. So maybe they wanted to go fast. They wanted to leave you leaving wanting more. And I do. I want to know more. I'm intrigued. You have shown me some of these cool features that I would never have asked for. Who the hell's like, you know what? I need a dice tower in this corner of the table. No, that's a great idea that you just put into my head. And now, in a future gaming table, be like, is that is that a thing? Is there anything secret hidden over in that that there corner over there? Well, you have you have upped the game right there by putting cool stuff in that. And then maybe other people have already done that. And I just don't know about it. But to me, that that shows me that you know what you're doing. You know what kind of table you gamers want. First created, nine backed. Okay, it is what it is. But one thing I'll say, I always recommend this: go spend twenty dollars right now, back twenty things, and all of a sudden it goes from. It goes. It looks a little bit more like the story of oh look, this is this is someone who's been a longtime Kickstarter supporter. They've they've backed twenty nine different projects, and now they're here and they want to get theirs. And you know most people won't think like that, but there are some people who will think like that. And Game Theory Tables is the tabletop division of BBO Poker Tables. Oh, the official table supplier of the World Poker Tour. Holy shnikes! That needs to be mentioned elsewhere in this kickstarter uh except for right there because that is that is big 
That is big. Whenever I see a Kickstarter company attached to a bigger conglomerate or entity in any way, shape, or form, that makes me feel immediately more comfortable. Because I just did two straight Kickstarter critiques. This is the third one of the day. Uh, I did two. And on well, in the comments section, someone says, oh my gosh, I'm sorry I didn't back this, but, but quite honestly, I'm just so sick of getting burned of these. Uh, the last two or three things that I backed have not, just never showed up. And so when I see some accountability from a big name company like that, it makes me feel so much more comfortable. That kind of answers my question of can you do it? I now feel like you can do it because I know you have the big brother there. Uh, what's holding you back? Prices, colors, contact us and we'll see if we can help. Oh, and you're pointing me right to it. I love this. Look at this, this little arrow. I'd maybe even make that bigger because that right there, that snippet, I feel so comfy now. All right, the origins, Kickstarter, two years in the making. Okay, cool. Why choose this table? Because I'll be honest with you. Normally I say that first video should answer at least two of the three questions. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Ideally, you can do all three, but that is a very hard thing to do. Because if you have done your video so well that people just immediately ignore everything over here, they say, all right, I'm ready to back. Give me the price. Just give me the price. Or even you give me the price in there. Um, so that video, I feel like, do I want it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a really cool looking gaming table. You answered that one. Can you do it? Yeah, I mean, that was a table I was looking at right there. I mean, that was literally the, the prototype of the table, which, but then at a mass scale, can you do it? Like, there's the real question. And this BBO poker thing, now I feel that way. And how much is it? So we need to get to the price. But I, I, we're going to go along for the ride because I like to look at this from the perspective uh, of two things. So first, if you do well enough here with this video, then I just want the price. Like, if you just sold me completely on it here, the price. But some people don't watch the video, as I'm finding out. A lot of people don't watch the video. So then I do want a good story here, but I feel like you should have the price first. Because most people watch the video, get to the price, and then the people who don't watch the video, it's like, okay, there's the price, and now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through your more in-depth story. This is where you really shine a microscope on that 30-second video, uh, and I'm going to see if I, if I want to spend the money on it. And I already know from the beginning, like, this is the number. Um, I, I just, I like that number up top. All right. So this is same thing for the video, but I imagine they're going to extend on a, a point a lot. Ooh. Whoa! It's too fast! Hi there, this is George from Game Theory Tables, and I need to admit to you right away, I'm not much of a hardcore board gamer. I'm more of a casual with friends over... Thank you! Thank you! That is so refreshing! I've seen so many videos... So many of these Kickstarter videos where they lack the personal touch. And I don't think you need the personal touch. But when I see a personal touch, it's something that I really, really love. Because I love backing Kickstarter for the items, but mostly just for what Kickstarter used to be. And it's kind of lost its way a little bit because of just uh, of how commercialized it is. Which the bottom line is Kickstarter is an opportunity for people to change their life. To make that game, to make that CD, to make that movie, to do the thing that potentially, you know, catapults them into what their dream is. And so Kickstarter, when it first started, was just like, we can make people's dreams come true. And it still is. It's still there. It's still all over Kickstarter. It's just mixed in. There's so much of this just consumerism the, the mass marketism the uh we, we we've got to have this 170 dollar box filled with 200 miniatures and, and there's still the cool stories and even though this you know then they're trying to pitch that like this this is the, I, i'm excited how they're doing this i like the personal touch drinks type gamer but over the last decade i've been running the number one premium poker table brand in the u.s bbo poker tables <sighs> now the last couple of years okay okay i want this in the video Okay, this is exactly what I want. When I say you should try and answer as many questions as you can in that, that, that first video, if you just, in any, any portion of that 30 seconds, you could just add it. Done by the BBO Poker Table Association, whatever the fig fancy name is that makes me sound like it's, you know, a multi-hundred million dollar company or whatever. I immediately feel so much more comfortable, and I would totally recommend putting it up there. I just, it, it's, 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 such a, it's such a big thing. Oh! 
stylish. This is what I love. This is exactly what I want in the video. I, I swear to you, this is so good right here. We know how to make tables. We are studs at making tables. Look at our bitchin' tables. Sorry for my language, but they're, they're all... Like, those tables were so cool! Like, those were cool, like, you know, you go to, like, a multi-multi-multi-millionaire's house, a billionaire's house, and you see a table like that. And I want one of those in my house. So now I hear that they're expanding their brand. They're already, they're already top creme de la creme at what they do, but now they're doing it with board game stuff? Whoa! That's a whole different narrative being pitched there. And I think it's a good one. I want to be on the ground floor of this. I want to get a discount on what's going to be, you know, a new gold standard in potentially board game tables. Because we have some gold standards now, but this company sounds like they're going to be able to produce these at a very high mass production potential level. Like, they have the capability to probably do that, which means the price, whoom, going down. Lifetime warranty. Oh my goodness. I feel like, yeah, this stuff should be in the video. Absolutely. Gaming table made with the same love and care that took be mm. at the top of the poker industry, supplying tables for the World Poker Tour, celebrities, and poker enthusiasts all around the world. This is your video! Get rid of the 30 second thing, put this up here, it's so good! It's so, so good! And at this point, if I'm interested in this product, at this point, I'm either doing one of two things, which is I am sitting here, gripped by your video, exciting to see what amazing features are going to be in this poker table, or I'm already looking at the freaking price. What are those two things? Like, I feel like this video is so well done. And, and I, I, would, I would totally put this here. And I know some people say, short Kickstarter videos. You need the short Kickstarter videos. I don't think you always do. I think if you have a good enough long video, Check it out. And Game Theory Tables, thanks for taking a lot of, uh, uh, a ride on the, the live stream. Hopefully things are going to keep going great. Maybe more than any other single activity was bringing people back together in real life. The simple act of disconnecting from our phones and connecting with our friends and family reminded me of why we were successful in the poker market. Because our products were always about sparking yep. human connections. And this is the point now where maybe you start to think about when you used to have a poker game. Like, I used to be in that boat. I used to have two or three poker games. I used to love poker. And my best thing about poker is, yes, it's the fun game. The, the bluffing, the stressfulness, you know, the, oh my gosh, my heart's beating a mile a minute. Like, the, when your heart's beating so fast, you can swear that other people at the table can hear it because it's just pin silent. Like, those moments, I love them in poker. But I also love the human interaction, the people that I met, the stories that were told in between hands, you know, just the, sh the camaraderie. And, and so I feel like they're, they're plucking that heartstring and they're doing a great job with it. Because it, it gets me thinking about some of my old poker buddies right now. Now, when we started designing the Origins way back in 2018, oh, love we it. knew that this table had to be made by board gamers for board gamers. Okay, uh, I love that, the fact that they just name-dropped 2018. Okay, this isn't some half-half-butt scheme. We haven't been working on this, because I see so many of those. I see so many of those. If you go look down Kickstarter, Design and Tech right now, I swear, I think probably 20% of them are people, we had this idea during the pandemic. It's like, okay, so this is an eight-month-old idea. Which, you know, cool. That's that's a good chunk of time, but when I, eight months versus two year, it's 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 a no brainer. And from day one, this project only had two rules. Number Ooh. one, the design had to appeal to everybody in the family: husbands, wives, boyfriends, and girlfriends. And the board gamers had to sign off on both the features and the performance. Besides that, we started with a blank sheet of paper. Our desire to draw from the collective feedback of the gaming community. In 2019, we brought our very first prototype. Oh, I didn't see it. To Gen Con, and we let everybody that wanted to play on it play. Our oh, was that in the Funko? That was in the Funko one, wasn't it? Or maybe it was somewhere else. But that's cool. That's great. And uh, you know, and here's the thing. And this is especially ex. I think this is absolutely brilliant on their part to draw, name drop Gen Con. Because think about this. This table is a premium quality item. Do you need this table? No, you don't need this table. You can play on the floor. If you really wanted to, you can play on the floor. But the people that are interested in this table are willing to pay the price. Uh, pay a GM booth. Okay. Uh, it, it, willing to pay the price for it are the people who are going to go to Gen Con. They want the spectacle. They want the event. They don't mind flying there. And I love covering Gen Con because it's a literal melting pot. You meet people from all around the world. And if you've never been to Gen Con, you might not think about it. But yes, people come from literally all around the world to Gen Con and Essen. Like those are two, two big ones. They are melting pots from all around the world. It's a beautiful thing to see. 
And, and I love the fact that you're name dropping Gen Con here. And I'm actually getting to see real people using the table. And then hopefully, hopefully we get the, the opinion videos. I hope you ask people about what they thought about the table after they got done playing stuff. Because that right there, that's, 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 that's a huge, do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. How much is it? That's what I'm still waiting for, but but great so far. Good job was to listen intently. Over the course of the show, dozens of different games and countless players enjoyed the origins, but they also gave us a thoughtful design yeah. feedback. Through this series of continuous iterations from their feedback, by mid-2020, almost two full years from when we started the project, the origins table finally was what we wanted it to be. This is brilliant. This is your video. gamers in the community, we had a good idea that we were on the right track with our designs. Once we finally had a design that resonated, we immediately moved on to what set us apart. Okay, I absolutely love everything about this video, and it, it, it addressed all my issues from the first one. It was too fast, it was too fast. If someone's going to sit here and they're going to make this, I'm going to guess, 600 to 1200 $1,500 purchase right now, I don't want to feel rushed. I don't want to see a 30 second video and be like, man, I'm ready to drop $900. Like I do, but at the same time, it's like, I want to see a little bit of how the sausage gets made. And I love the slower pace of this video. The business of making stunning tables and frictionless delivery to your house. Ooh. This is where a lot of Kickstarter campaigns stumble. They have a flashy hype video without a supply chain and distribution logistics that can scale. After all, what good is a kick-ass game table if it takes years to deliver and maybe gets damaged in the delivery process? We've been in the business of creating unforgettable memories with friends and family for over a decade, with our products powering tens of thousands of poker and game nights all around the U.S. We understand that in order to successfully over-deliver in this Kickstarter, the supply chain was just as important, if not more important, than getting the product design right. To ensure that we can easily fulfill all of the obligations of this Kickstarter, we decided to work out the kinks in a pre-launch event in August of 2020. Some of you might remember seeing our You Started campaign in the late summer of 2020. No. We partnered with some of the biggest and brightest names in the board game industry, including Board Game Geek, The Bird yeah. Nice. Lads, Geek Dad, and a whole bunch more for a bulk group buy. Now, the goal of that was to simulate the stress that a Kickstarter campaign will have on production supply chains and to fortify and add capacity where needed in order to successfully operate this Kickstarter. Okay, I'm going to be brutally honest here. So much of that went over my head, but I love it. I love it. I love whatever that is. I'm going to go swimming in whatever you just said was, because that makes me feel so comfortable. Absolute comfort. I, my wallet is open. I am ready if I have this money. You, you have, you have checked every single box so magnificently right here. Uh... I've seen video clip an image of the origin with three and four leaves. How is the final table going to be configured? Okay. Interesting. Oh, Everdale. The result is that we quickly sold through all the allocated units and the group by early adopters are now getting their table to share with friends and family. From an operational standpoint, our use starter allowed us to make sure that our supply chain was tried and tested. Wow. And that we were ready to accomplish the mission of getting as many people playing on the origins as possible okay so this is exactly what i want to spotlight right here and, and when you think about the board game industry it seems like it's a big industry but it's not it is not it is not even close to being a big industry the microphone industry is bigger uh video games are obviously bigger movies are bigger tables are bigger you know shelving is bigger just about every other niche out there is bigger than the board game hobby and sometimes we forget about that this just absolutely reeks uh, of uh, being a Kickstarter ran by a non-board game company who already knows they have everything ready. They have, I bet they have a legal team. They have all that stuff. And it just, it just showcases so much. The fact that this, this is in essence a Kickstarter being run by a huge, uh, a huge company. Bigger than most board game companies. But there's such a personal touch here. It's, it's brilliant. This might be the best Kickstarter video that I've ever seen. And it's not your Kickstarter video. <laughs> For this Kickstarter, we continue to listen to the community, and we've been innovating add-on components that gamers wish to see. In addition to standard features, such as our solid ashwood construction <laughs> holders, 
integrated beer trays, four inch vaulted playing surface for undisturbed gameplay, ah! full size four by six matching optional dining top for even the largest games, USB chargers, ah! gorgeous and plush game mats designed by Panda, ah! and 100% custom design. No! Also adding our exclusive dice tower <laughs> and deluxe component trait to this Kickstarter. And in case you were not yet convinced of our commitment, hit me with the price. Come on, just price me. Price me! For gamers. We brought in Panda Game Man oh. as an exclusive component supplier. Oh, that's so it's great. It's so good. Even if you don't know that much about uh like the behind the scenes of board games. Panda GM, it's a very good chance it's a, it's a company that you've heard of. Uh, the biggest reason I would argue is because they made uh, they made Pandemic. Pretty sure they made Pandemic, and, and they're they're huge. And whenever I see Panda GM, I know components is not going to be an issue with the game. And I think most gamers would agree. Panda GM generally, if you think of Panda GM, they're going to have one of the highest favorability ratings. You really think about that. You think if you just if you just got a thousand board gamers into a room, and you just started naming off random things like the dice tower. Bowers Game Corner, uh, you know, Race for the Galaxy. It, it, it just gave you your honest opinions. I feel like Panda GM would be towards the highest because I don't feel like anybody has negative experiences with Panda GM. So mentioning that in here is just, it's so good. And quality assurance consultant. You may know Panda as the global leader in yeah. top game manufacturing, and they have worked on hundreds of successful Kickstarter projects. So with all of this, we're finally ready to present the Origins Kickstarter to you in the world. Our hope is that you and your family find this table easily approachable and that it fits well aesthetically in your space while being easy to live with for years to come. We know that the origins will quickly become the heart of any home and bring joy to everyone no matter if you're using it for dinner, as a homework table, a utility table, or as it was designed. A table to bring together friends and family to share unforgettable memories. So thank you for listening <laughs> to the journey of the origins game table. I need a cigarette. Wow, that was a great video. I would, I would, I, the 30 second video is not bad, but that's, that's, that's one of the best Kickstarter videos I've ever seen. So now, um, here's my questions. I want to know the price and I want to know how logistically it is going to be shipped to me. And I hope you address those quickly. It's going to be just like a huge box where I just assemble the legs. So I hope those are things that are covered very early on because you just wowed me. Everything, I, I feel so comfortable with everything that you've said and I hope it is not redundant now. That's because I see a lot of redundancy on Kickstarters. Just... Get to the price. Get to the price. Uh, awesome. Great quotes. Let's look at the quotes. Always like to study the quotes. I feel like this table will be a part of my gaming experience for many years to come. Okay. It's good. Not great. <laughs> it's not. like uh, and I'm terrible at giving quotes as well. So I say that wholeheartedly. I don't ever give quotes and I really should. Uh, but yeah. But it, but that quote in particular, like I, I would have got one of the people who had a quote that said for a lifetime. Because let's be honest. Like this table, you buy this table, you're expecting to have this table... For the rest of your life. Like, if you splunk down the money, it's not going to be like, I think in 20 years, I'm, I could see myself throwing this table away. You're like, no, even if I stop playing board games, it's still a great table. 35% uh, off RMSRP. Give me the price and save uh, off the standard $2,279. That's cool. I don't want to have to do the math in my head. So what, $1,500? $1,550? Something like that? Is that the price? Hopefully you hit me with it. Just hit me with it. Hit me with it! <laughs> I can take it! You sold me so well on everything else. Get it quickly. This year. Yes. Just hit me with the price. The price better be right underneath there. If it's right underneath there, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Exclusive add-ons. Great. Lifetime warranty. Free USA shipping. What? Free USA shipping? Yes. Is it free shipping? No. It's not free shipping. Of course it's not free shipping. They built it into the ad, the cost of the game. But to me, it's free shipping. Ha! Oh, you should... Uh, if that's not... Okay, so I remember up here, you had the three things. It was like a lifetime warranty, something, something. Free USA shipping. Oh my gosh, that needs to be up there. That has got to be up there. That is just so good. Lifetime warranty. Yes, spectacular. Get it quickly. I might even put that up there. Shipping this year. Uh, this is a high-quality, well-built, uh, heavily constructed table that asks, how do we make it simpler to play games? Great quote. Watch preview. Wow. Look at this. Look at that. That is nice. Stretch goals. Love it. They're early here. They're early. I see so many people who bury the stretch goals down below. No, make them higher. Always higher, especially once you hit them. Uh, new pre mat design available. Awesome. Awesome. Vote on a new available cover. Love it. Oh, my goodness. Getting people engaged. Looking good. You're cracking me up with your excitement. 
I think they could play uh, on the right side. I know it's it's in there in the right side. I know it's over here, but this is your story. Like that's that's even what they call it. And I try and go back to the old school Kickstarter. Like this is a story I'm going through, and part of the story should be what the cost is. I, I don't want to have to go over here. You know, when you go to a grocery store, when you go to Target, do you want to go the extra mile to see the price? Do you want the price to be right there? You want to have to go to a customer service representative? You want to have to go find a little scanning machine? No, I, I feel like it should be in here. Hit me with it. Hit me with it. You've convinced me. And so what are the stretch goals looking like? The 350, 225, 300. So I say those are micro-esque stretch goals because if this thing becomes a snowball and it starts rolling down the hill and you're doing stretch goals at every fifty to $100,000, you're going to have so much excitement, so much buzz for this. This is a snowball at the top of the hill ready to get pushed, it looks like. Uh, and, and that's the other thing is that by getting that snowball push, you're going to bump up these comets way. Cause this is early. This is only a couple of days. So how they run the middle of this campaign is going to be very interesting to see. I am so excited. I might check back on this campaign the last day. I'm so excited for it because, uh, a company like this, I'm sure they got tricks up their sleeve up the wazoo of what they're going to be doing to try and keep engagement during that dead period in the middle. Cause ugh, looking good. Features, matching dining table, recessed play area. This is great. I still, I, I just, anywhere the price, anywhere the price up there. Because because right now I'm still searching, but I'd rather be over here buying <laughs> table specs. Oh, and how do you ship it? Okay, focus, focus, focus. I'm getting so excited about just how awesome the table looks that I need to focus at this from a realistic perspective. If I were actually buying this table, how easy is it to assemble? That's what I want to see. Took a moment there. Table specs, cool. Show me how to assemble it. That's great. Oh, you're gonna show you're gonna twist it again? Yeah, there it is. Scythe standard board, that's so good! Scythe extended board, that's great! Twilight Imperium me. Twilight Imperium This is so good. That That's genius! Actually having the three because a lot of times we see these 3D models, the 3D renderings, and they're not that helpful. They're not. Sometimes. This is helpful. This is very helpful. I, I saw uh, Fallen Lands. Second edition, I'm going to give them the shout-out. They did something like this very cool where they showed this is exactly how long uh, big it's going to look in a Kallet shelf. It's like, that's great. That helps me visualize it. And I love when companies do that stuff. Materials, great. Good stuff. Ooh, exclusive color. What? Oh, my gosh. That's so awesome. A Kickstarter. It could be pink. It could be pink. It could be neon green. Oh, my gosh. That gets me excited. I want to come back to see the exclusive color. That's good. That's good. Playing Surface, awesome. Oh yeah, Lost Ruins of Arnak, it's a huge game. And look at that, you even have one of them closed off! No you didn't, you dirty dogs! That's a great picture. That's a great picture the more I even look at it too. Because Lost Ruins of Arnak is a big game. And the fact that you have one of those closed off, that's a great picture. Exclusive Waterproof Dynamic Gaming Suede, okay. Introducing BBO Waterproof Gaming Suede. We have released our own proprietary fabric that is the perfect playing canvas to showcase your favorite images and sayings with all the detail and color that will make you the envy of the neighborhood. And since you spent all that time on your image and you want it to last, we engineered this playing surface yes. to be waterproof. Wow. Go ahead. Pour it on. Oh my Go gosh, that's spectacular. That's amazing. I almost feel like that should be way higher. There's, yes, yes, Liberation Game Design just nailed it in the comments. So many great videos in this Kickstarter. Yes. I don't even know, there's, ha, oh, it's so well done. Take a closer look at add-ons. Yes, I want to look at them. I'm not going to. I'm going to stop because I don't, I just, I, I'm just embellishing. It's just, oh, okay, it's, it's only a minute. I'll look at it. It's just a minute. <laughs> Okay, so this is, this is, this is... Okay, oh, okay. Dice Tower 1. It slides right back in there, too. It pops back in. Oh, cool. Trays. Love the trays. Oh. <clears throat> custom layout oh my gosh oh my god oh, so that's how it is that's how they're able to do it 
So it's just like a giant mat that covers every bit of it. Oh my gosh, that's so clever. That's so clever. Add-ons. Okay, uh, the extra ne get an extra play mat manufactured by Pay and a GM, and the pledge manager will be able to choose different designs, change the awesome graphic template. Cool, this is the good stuff. This is great, but I still don't know the price. Like, we're talking about add-ons. I don't know the dang price. Fine, you're going to make me do it. Go over here. One dollar, and hopefully this is clean and clear. I want two pledge levels. Unless there's an early bird, then maybe three. 15% off coupon. Uh, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. That's a... I like that pledge level. I've never seen that pledge level. If you Let me know in the comments below if you've ever seen that pledge level. 15% off coupon for later. Uh, $1,500. There we go. That should be the only thing. What is this? Wave 2. Okay, yeah. Because you got wave 1, wave 2. Understandable. That's so... Wow. It's clean. Clear. fourteen ninety nine Out the door. That's my price. And I would do that. <clears throat> Honestly. Honestly. This is such an amazing table. I might put that on the. I, I, I might put that at the door. I might put that right at the front. First image, fourteen ninety nine, shipped to your house, free USA shipping, lifetime warranty, uh, and, and then that that six minute video, and I'm I'm in. And if I have that disposable income, I do need to know how it's going to get in my house. That's the other thing, though. Still, focus, focus, focus. Uh, I would totally put it in here somewhere. How does it unassemble? How do you assemble it? And hopefully, that's coming down later. I saw that you all sell chairs. You should consider a chairs only tier to pull people from the some of the other campaigns. Whoa, you sell chairs? Fancy gaming chairs? <gasps> okay, focus, focus. God, doctor, I love it, doctor. I love that you're, that you're chiming in here, but I need to focus on the task at hand, not wonder what these delicious chairs probably look like. Uh, playing surface, cool. More to be unlocked, great. Previous backer from Ustarter. So I hope they have a link to this U-Starter. This, uh, this is very... I'm very curious about more about this U-Starter thing. The dining top... Oh, so that's extra. Okay. So I'm looking at 2000 with the dining top. Hmm. So am I just getting the table with 1500 <clears throat> The dice tower? Okay, so these are where the add-ons come in. 65 tier trade. Okay. Oh, there's the chairs. Never mind. There's the chairs. Matching chairs. Brass cup holder. Wow, okay. So we're really getting into some some weeds here so here's what i would say i think the best way to do this is to get a whale get the whale if i'm here and i'm like fifteen hundred dollars two thousand dollars like if i'm like legit like <laughs> i don't mind dropping three grand on a table as long as i know it's gonna be absolutely fantastic and after the pandemic i can totally play with my games and then be like whoa you got a new table gary if you're that kind of person who has that kind of money i like to call it the fu money <laughs> The, the, the you you can make problems go away with money kind of people just give us a whale give me a big old fat whale here twenty eight hundred dollars shipped to your door the ultimate gaming table with your own custom logo design in the middle brass cup holder matching chairs tiered trays dice tower dying top just just go all in on it but then i don't know if that's doable but that that is <clears throat> then we got the videos awesome i wasn't expecting videos but i should have cool great ant lab games cool i mean these are these are gonna be oh oh shipping assembly what to expect yes higher higher please because look at it from a logistical perspective i really want to buy this thing and i'm like i'm totally gonna buy it now this is one of the few questions that i that uh, that is unanswered and the fact that i gotta scroll all the way down to get one of the few questions that's unanswered i don't you like might it you wondering what to expect yes this like i would honestly that six minute video was so stinking well done i'd go six minute video i go price point and then i would go what to expect now that you've backed what to expect you know uh because this video right here this is what i want to see when hopefully you place your order for your origins game table now here we have an example of how we pack all of our orders beautiful our each of your components will be in its own box and then strapped onto a custom pallet to prevent any damage and what makes game theory tables a little bit different is that in case there's damage we offer a proprietary track and trace system exclusively for game theory table customers when your table arrives to you simply take your phone scan the qr code that's on the box and take a couple pictures 
You document the condition as you oh. received it, and that protects you from any shipping damage that can arise. Wow. As long as you do that, we'll take care of any of the issues with the freight company, and that is just another way that Game Theory Tables protects our customers. Now, here's what you should expect when installing your Origins Game Tables. Actually, very simple and super sturdy. There's only four bolts in each leg. Oh my gosh! Yes! If this is the case, and this is actually something that is not terribly difficult to assemble, this needs to skyrocket to the top. Because I'll be honest with you. I love the idea of the table. I do. But I'm going to put it like this. A lot of the, Think about a lot of the people that have this kind of FU money. The money where it's like, yeah, I'll pay $3,000 for a gaming table. Are those the type of people who routinely probably do, you know, sort of around the house, like, screwing, unbolting? And I know that's kind of stereotypical to say that. But, but really think about it. I, I just, when I think of that particular group of people, I don't know if I necessarily think assembly as something that they really enjoy doing that much. And so you saying that it's very easy gets me excited. And the bolts go into metal to metal fittings, so it's super secure. We will provide you with everything you need in our hardware kit as well as the tools to get the job done. Now, once you fasten the leg to the table securely, simply put the cap over for a full finish flush look. wow no uh no uh you shouldn't that's really it's that simple no if it's really that simple skyrocket to the freaking moon because that is just a nice warm security blanket because in this one you know this is a really interesting kickstarter normally i say do i want it can you do it how much is it this one it's do i want it how much is it can you do it and then can i do it can i assemble it or is it going to sit there in my garage for months and it doesn't sound like that <clears throat> awesome shipping a heavy table can be complicated wait uh what canada and Europe backers will be charging all shipping and taxes after the campaign okay <clears throat> so this is something for people who are not in the united states good excellent as long as i know that in the united states there's no shipping sweated how to set it up yes yes this Today we're going to be showing you how to assemble leg columns for the small hardware box found inside. Oh, inside your hardware box. This is exactly what I want to see. I love this video. I love, love, love this video. Because look, it's still in the freaking box. That's what I like. This is what I want to see. Yeah, this higher, this you higher. You should have <laughs> the bolts and tools shown here. Now, <clears throat> with a friend, carefully lift the table up and turn it on its side. Keep the table steady while your friend positions the first leg. Make sure you match up the leg columns A with the table side Beautiful. A as well. Simple. Or B with the table side B. Once you have the leg in position, grab four of the bolts and washers and start screwing the bolt over to the other side. Good job, you. Look at that. Real time. Two minutes. Set up the table. Oh my god. Yes, this video needs to... You, Yes, yeah, someone said it earlier. There's so many good videos in here. It's ridiculous. I keep saying it needs to go higher. Yeah, this guy, this, this is this this takes precedence over so many things. I, I would say just because it's it's so comforting. Like oh oh you know me and me and my friend could put this together. You took two minutes. Maybe we take twenty minutes, and I'm happy with that. <laughs> like if it's twenty minutes, I'm still if this if putting this together takes twenty minutes. I'm in heaven. You know, because it's going to be there forever, in theory. Uh, about, cool, meet the GGT team. Awesome. Normally, this is just pictures, videos. Love it. It is my pleasure. Oh, look at this. That's great. That's great. I love it. I absolutely love it. Because, yes, you're the face, obviously, but it's this is not a one-person project. This is clearly not a one-person project. And normally, when I go over here and I see if there's collaborators... Uh, oh, it doesn't show there's collaborators, but I imagine there's a lot of collaborators on the updates and community section in the comments section. Very well done, Kickstarter. Uh, wow. Oh, uh, oh, okay. So let's get to the updates. Let's get to the comments. Let's get out of here. Updates. Another stretch goal unlocked. Great. Five hearts. It's five hearts. Okay, so that's, uh, oh, okay. So this is a really unique one with a high price point like that. It's going to be a lot harder to get engagement just because you're going to have less backers because there's only 244 backers here for a project if this were a board game that'd be that'd be easily in the thousands 
So it's going to be a lot harder to get that engagement. Interesting. Interesting. So it's got its own whole unique beast here. Hmm. Uh, there's me. Hey, bye. <laughs> Thanks for doing this. Okay, cool. Have you found the height of the table to be an issue? We set up a 32-inch table at home just to test the height, and we found that it's uncomfortably tall for our chairs. When we brought it to Gen Con 2019, we didn't hear any complaints from gamers about the height. Oh, that's the other thing. I know you're already overflowing with spectacular videos, but you mentioned you got feedback from other people. If any of that was recorded, I would love to see uh, just some of those. Just get me like a snippet. 15-second hit piece off everybody. It was great. It was amazing. Oh, my gosh. I want one of these. Oh, it was such a nice table. Oh, I liked I could charge my phone. Oh, Billy spilled water on it, and it didn't go anywhere. Like, that, those kind of quotes. You know? You know, you set up King of Tokyo. Somebody's kid's going to spill something on it. I mean, that's a fact. That is a fact. Kelly Sawyer. What, sorry. I pronounced Sui Hara. Would it be possible to have matching bench that could store the leaves during the gameplay as an option instead of chairs? working on this love the idea oh my gosh yes yes wow uh so i see the creators responding to everything excellent on point shipping weight is about three just direct questions direct answers that's what people want when they're open their wallet especially for a multi thousand uh over thousand dollar purchase i saw this down in the comments please make a solution for storing the tabletops under the table maybe a metal metal wire cage or something Ooh, that is a great idea to me and i imagine to a lot of people but you haven't responded to it and i totally would i'd say you know uh rob that's a great because here's the thing i'm gonna get the impression that it's probably not gonna happen for one reason or the other and i don't know the logistics i don't know any of this stuff uh but it, it, you gotta answer you gotta be like oh well sorry rob the thing that the, here's why we can't do it or here's why we would be very hesitant to do that because it would add more testing to this but it's something that we could potentially look on in the future uh so maybe we i i don't know just something there because especially with super backers super backers are worth their weight in gold super backers i love i can't i can't i can't i love you rob uh carlos oliviera would also love to see an option just to buy one leaf for those who don't want the full dining too but would love to use one for snacks etc okay so leaves are called the things that go on top all right once again response even if it's not the response that they necessarily want to hear, the longer the time between someone who is in theory there and is about to give you $1,500 and the longer the time between you responding to them at all, it looks bad. And I know there's unpleasant conversations. It's part of the reason why I never want to run a Kickstarter ever again. I'll be brutally honest with you. Uh, there's a lot of unpleasant conversations that you have to have, conversations you don't want to have. And, and, but you got to do it because if you don't, the longer you don't, the worse it looks. Uh, Christian I Holston would love more details on the chairs. I pledge for six and eight of them if we know how able to. Get, oh yeah, awesome. Yeah, uh, the chairs kind of just seem kind of sprung on there. To be honest with you, there at the end, like I knew about the dice tower, I knew about the trays, I knew about the thing on the top. And you're like, oh well, chair, chair, chair. Where the hell did the chairs come from? So I agree. No response. And this is something I say. You got people on your team. You got close personal friends around you. Just say, hey, would you mind uh, if I add you on this Kickstarter? Just, 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 you know, uh, handle in some of the comments section that, that maybe even if it's so not like stuff like this necessarily, but just like the lighter stuff where it's like, I can't wait to get this. And you just respond back. Oh, awesome. We, we think you're going to absolutely love it. And you'll be enjoying it by the holiday season or something, whatever. Fantastic shipping. I'm aware of this includes VAT. So I choose to accept a massive custom cost. Should I? Oh, no. Do you, these are direct questions. You're not answered. Do you have measurements of the chair? Thanks for the extreme. Oh, no. <clears throat> so, Oliver. Let's look at Oliver. Oliver's one of the backers, probably. Uh, I think that's the only way you can leave a comment. And right now, he's, he's being left hanging. Michael, seeing as you have background in poker tables, a Texas Hold'em template for the game table would be terrific. That'd be cool. Panda GM has one of these, I would imagine, somewhere. So it, it, this should be an easy, you know, and this is a super backer. Is this, the same, this might be the same guy. Like, is he going to, if this is the same person and he has two questions that you've left hanging, do you think he's going to want to stay around? You know, we're talking $1,500. To somebody like me, that's an unfathomably large amount of money. You know, my car is worth less than $1,500. My car is almost old enough to vote. Uh, so, so these people that they're, they're dropping this money, they want to feel as comfortable as possible. And you've done an amazing job with everything else, but this comment section, 
it's a giant. It's just, it's an eyesore. And I see, you know, it's going to, oh, so I would totally. And then, oh, okay, we got the creator back. But it took a while. Why did it take so long? Uh, I just saw a video of this table on BG Tokers uh, from last year and around the table above the component holders and slot for cards like we're asking, why was this removed as part of the design? It was obviously on the table and it's what a lot of us are asking for. So, this wait, this is to Oliver. Wait, is this to Oliver? Who's Oliver? Where's Oliver? Oh, why is it down here? That's odd. Uh, I would totally click respond instead because here's the thing. Oliver knows you responded and that's spectacular. But me, if I'm thinking about plunking down the money, and I go through this section right here. Let's just say I'm kickstart. So I, I go through here and I see, oh, prompt, and then I get to here. If I get to here and I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you, like, do I even get to the seventh? Or I'm like, oh, I don't know about that. They're asking direct questions and not getting answers. Uh, so I would totally be hitting reply. And I would even almost delete that. I, I don't know. I would, I would go literally reply to him. Uh, cause this is great. This is the answers that he wants. Just backed. I was just about to ask the same thing. Was curious about chairs. What's the height of them? Okay. This is, so this is why we have the FAQ. Okay. So this is really odd. I feel like there was, and this is what I talk about all the time. Launching a Kickstarter is only part of the battle. If only I had the space and money for this type of table, maybe one day. Yeah, no joke. Money for me. Space is not an issue. I got a big old basement, but the money, uh, but, 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 but we're here. You know, you've done an amazing job launching this boat off. But now we're in the middle part, where things are going to plateau, generally. You know, you get the big buzz, and then you get the, the desert, and then you get the big last 48 hours. And you're set up for, I feel like, a huge last 48 hours, the more stretch goals you hit. And you're sailing along, but I, you got up the customer service, I hear, in the, I think, in the comments. I was curious about, like this, this is a question. This is another person saying, yeah, I also have that same question. And there's no response. And, oh, okay, so no, no, this is here. Where's Katie? Katie, so if I get to Katie. Uh, it's a good winter theme mat option. That's great. Yeah, like, I would I would actually respond to the people, like, you know, how you did there. Instead of, because it can look bad. It can look bad. Uh, I would answer those questions. I'd get the unpleasant conversations. And, and here's another thing. You know, put in the FAQ. FAQ is great. We didn't have an FAQ. Totally get yourself an FAQ. Uh, I would I would change that video right there. I'm not planning on buying one of these, but really happy to see competition in the space. That was fun. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming along on the ride. And yeah, I agree. The more competition, the lower price points, the better. Because this looks like an amazing table. Uh, this looks like a multi-million dollar potential Kickstarter, but I think it needs a little bit more TLC right now. But luckily, you can do that. I mean, there's the, most of these things that I'm talking about are things that are easily fixable. Just get yourself one more person right now to work on this. You know, and just say, hey, you know, we're going to, you know, you we're doing this, but we're going to deviate. I want you to spend a couple hours on this. In particular, if you can get different people on different sleeping cycles to be working on it. So you're always actively engaged, but you need to make this a spot, a hub. I want to see thousands and thousands of comments about it. Um, regarding the comment responses, I get, I bet GGT is using the Kickstarter app instead of the website of the browser. The app does crazy stuff with comment replies. Yes, the app is terrible. I hate the Kickstarter app. Whoa. Cool. Great, great point right there. And that's one thing I should mention in videos. Thank you, Doctor! I will mention that in videos in the future if I see some odd inconsistencies like that as well. But that has been today's Kickstarter critique for the Origins of Exquisite and Functional Board Game Table. It looks amazing. That six-minute video, best Kickstarter video I've ever seen, but unfortunately, it's not your video. I <laughs> think it should be. Also, uh, hit the price a little bit early, but still a really cool-looking table. If you've got the money, definitely check this one out. Check out the Kickstarter link down below. Tell them Byers Game Corner sent you. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. And the stream!